it's time to paint some clouds. I am gonna show you guys a really, really easy way to paint some very realistic looking clouds. The most important thing is one, use lots of paint, but two, don't make them perfectly symmetrical, don't make them all the same size. I find with anything like clouds, the more you think about it, the weirder they look, okay? They're gonna look better if you just turn off your brain for a minute. Uh, in general, your clouds are going to usually taper a little bit out to the side. Now, I know it's really fun to do like the big fluffy clouds that we all did in kindergarten, but <laughs> to make them a little more realistic, we're gonna make sure they sort of get a little skinnier at the edges. Okay, so here I've got another example. You can see you really don't need to be afraid of texture. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually do two different versions for you. I've got one where I already have a background that's dry, and then I'm gonna paint a quick sunset down here and I can show you how we can add clouds on top of an already wet background. It's gonna be a slightly different look, but very, very similar techniques, okay? So I'm also gonna show you with both brushes, we got our big flat brush, and I also have our smaller round brush. I'm gonna show you how to do clouds with both of them. Again, the technique is pretty similar, uh, but don't be afraid to use paint with either one. Lots of paint, it's gonna be your best friend, okay? So you guys can see, I've got a nice little scoop of paint here. What I like to do is start with the top of my cloud. I'll show you another version too, but I'm just gonna start by kind of making a nice little kind of fluffy cloud. Now don't worry about it being perfect, you can kind of see I'm actually purposefully letting that get a little messy, and I'm generally using kind of little curved brush strokes, little kind of quick brush strokes. Now, I, I will show you some other brush strokes you can use too, but on the edges here, you can kind of see, I'm just gonna kind of let that taper off. I'm turning my brush to the skinny edge, and I'm just lifting off the pressure. Now, underneath your cloud, the underside is generally going to be a little more level, okay? So think of it like a mountain, you have your voluminous part on top and the bottom is a little more level. That doesn't mean perfectly straight, but it's just a little more level. Now, the other way you can do this is start at the bottom. So if you wanna just decide where your clouds are gonna be, use that skinny edge. And you notice, I'm actually starting off the canvas on a lot of these. Try to do that. Let your clouds kind of float off the sides of the canvas too, okay? So I just, once again, use that skinny edge of the brush, little horizontal line, and then on top, we can start adding a little bit of volume. Now here I'm using a different brush stroke. Now I'm doing kind of little downward brush strokes. Keep it a little fluffier, a little freer, just like that, okay? But again, I'm kind of letting that edge taper. Now if you want, grab more white, go back in and you can add some little highlights on top. Or you can go back in with a little bit of a shadow color, have a little blue, and kind of see, just add that in as a little bit of texture Maybe a little bit of gray down here. Let's say he's like a little stormy underneath, okay? So I'm leaving that light on top, but I have a little bit of texture underneath, okay? Don't worry about the very bottoms of your clouds staying perfectly smooth. We just want them a little more level, okay? So in general, just kind of taper those edges. Very, very, very simple, okay? Now, they don't always need to be that same kind of shape. You might even just have one Coming in from the side, it might even go up and down. You can kind of see the looser you are, the easier this is. Okay, so I'm really keeping my wrist nice and loose. This one I did with more of a light blue, it's a little more subtle, but again, I'm just kind of hopping my brush around. Now the other thing that's really gonna help you is if you don't make the same mark over and over. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so if you just go in like this, you can kind of see your cloud is gonna be just a little bit too organized. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, just go right back in and I'm gonna bounce my brush all over, make sure I am going lots of different directions, okay? Anytime you have something that looks a little too predictable, mess it up, okay? So if you find your clouds are all perfect little triangles, they all have these little like stair step kind of curves, mess it up just a little bit. Just take your brush, you don't even need to add any extra paint, go in and kind of mess up those edges. Very, very simple, okay? So that's some basic clouds here. Now, quickly, I'm gonna rinse off my brush. I'm gonna paint in a really quick sunset for you guys. So I can show you what it looks like when your background is still wet. Okay, so I'm just again, starting up at the top. I'm gonna fill this in. If you saw our sky blending tutorial, this will look very familiar to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop in some nice pretty colors here. Okay. 
I just love these colors. They're so pretty. You can't go wrong with a sunset. Makes me happy. Now for this one, I'm gonna show you some clouds with our other brush as well. I'm just filling in the background with the larger brush because it makes this a lot faster. But I'm going to show you with the smaller round brush what those clouds can look like. It's a very, very similar technique. And we're still gonna use lots of paint, but we're also going to paint while our background is still wet. So I'm gonna pop that guy in my water. And I'm gonna go over here. I got my medium brush now. I'm just gonna get a nice big blob of white paint. Now remember your background is wet, so your clouds aren't gonna be perfectly white, but that's really, really nice for this effect. It's gonna look like all of those sunset colors are already reflecting into your clouds. So I got a nice big blob of paint. Again, I'm just gonna kind of start the side, okay? You can even kind of let your brush twist and turn, okay? You kind of see, let that little top edge take shape, come in, add a little bit more texture, Kind of see I'm just letting that sort of form and again the bottom edge is going to be just a little bit more tapered a little bit smoother but it gives you a really nice effect helps that look like it's kind of part of the background a little more now what you can do if you want to bring out some highlights go back in with a little bit of white on the top and you can just kind of bring out those highlights but it's such a pretty technique okay so I'm going to show you again once again, you can do the same kind of ideas we did before. If you want to start with the bottom of your cloud, and then we're going to kind of create a bumpy, messy top edge. Remember, try not to organize it too much. As soon as you find yourself doing little round <laughs> motions like that, stop yourself, take a breath. It's not, <laughs> it's not that serious. Nothing is that dire right now. Okay, so we're just going to go back and forth again, adding a little bit of texture to that edge. And then if you want more highlight, come back in. You're just gonna add a little highlight to kind of the top of that cloud. And you can kind of see I'm going back in and kind of messing up a little edge here and there on purpose. So as soon as I find I'm kind of creating a predictable shape, I'm gonna go back in and mess it up a little bit. So the great thing about clouds is there are no perfect clouds. They come in all shapes and sizes, okay? But this is a very sort of standard, easy cloud to create for your sky, okay? Once again, I'm gonna show you maybe a little smaller one. Remember, you can have lots of different sizes here. Maybe I got a little guy in here. And the nice thing about painting on top of your wet background is those colors, that kind of shading is already incorporated. So you can go back in and bring out the highlights, but it's already gonna have all of that sunset reflected in the clouds, which is really, really pretty. Okay, so once again, same basic technique for both of those brushes. You can use either of the brushes. Just make sure you're using lots of paint and make sure you're tapering the edges. Again, you're gonna have more volume on the top and the bottom of your cloud is gonna be a little bit more level, okay? But it's really fun. Remember, your clouds don't all need to be twins. They can all look a little different. Make sure you kind of stagger them throughout the canvas. Your backgrounds, your skies and things will look a lot more realistic that way. I sometimes see people kind of stacking them in little columns. Try to avoid that. Try not to think too hard. Uh, you know, don't plan too much. As soon as we start planning, that's where things start looking a little crazy, <laughs> okay? So again, just have a little fun, take a breather, enjoy painting some of those, cl those clouds. It's a very, very simple technique. Hope you guys enjoy that, okay? So we are doing to-go kits. Just again, I wanna remind you guys that you can get those at potterybyyou.com. That's our sister studio. You just wanna look for the art to-go-go -go kits. We're gonna give you everything you need. And hopefully in some of those paintings, you can enjoy painting a few little fluffy clouds like we did here today. Thank you so much for joining us.